Now if we want to perform recovery, I'm going to click uh, on recover here. And we can see SQL Server in the list of, uh, actually the only one on the list of uh, instances to recover from. And uh, we have here also a link VSS Disk Shadow Data under External Data. And we can see here the output of the creation of the shadow copies. We can see that each shadow copy has a shadow copy ID. So uh, we will not need one of uh, C, but we have one of E and D. So we can use them to uh, revert to those uh, snapshots. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to recover. Let's just do something else first. Let's just stop this uh, server. Okay. It's like simulating it was, it was crashed or something like that. Okay. So now I want to recover a new one. I'm going to click on Recover Instance. As you can see, it says Wisdom Platform does not support snapshot-based root device, so I have to uh, do it from an image. I can't take the latest image I want. I can do that by uh, clicking on uh, AMIs. And this is, uh, no, actually this is my SQL Server image, my latest one. Let's copy it. And I'm going to paste it here instead of the original image. Instances to launch once. Uh, I'll leave everything else as is which means it will recover uh, everything with the same settings the uh, original server had. So I'm going to click on Recover Instance and OK. It should take a few seconds and you can see uh, recovery operation succeeded over one instance. We have the instance ID. I can go to Instances. Probably need to refresh, so I'm refreshing uh, the management console screen. It will take a few seconds. Okay, so we have here a new SQL server. We can change it to recovered SQL. Just to be able to distinguish them. As you can see, the original SQL is stopped, but the, the recovery is now uh, starting. I'm going to wait a few minutes for it to continue finish booting and all that and I will log into it and then we can see how we can revert to the snapshots. Okay, we're back. I'm logged into the new server. It took a few minutes to boot. Uh, I have here the configuration manager of SQL Server. I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna stop the SQL Server service for uh, just a few minutes before we start working. Okay, it stopped now, and I am going to open a command prompt and type disk shadow. Disk shadow is the utility that uh, handles uh, shadow copies in uh, Windows 2008, and I need the command revert to two snapshots. Let's see again what I have here. Uh, so I have this data, and I have. Volume C, which I can't use because Volume C was, again, we did not launch the it's from the snapshot, so it doesn't really matter here. But the logs and data of the database are in, in D and E. So we have here the copy ID of drive E. Doesn't, the order really doesn't matter here. So I'm going to click type revert and type this. Okay, so you can see revert. The volume was successfully reverted to the shadow copy. Now I need the other one. The copy ID of volume D. I'm going to do revert to this as well. And again, revert was successful. So I can actually exit. And I can start my SQ, uh, SQL Server again. Now I can try to connect to it with my uh, management studio, whatever. It should be alive and uh, kicking.
Okay, so it took a few seconds to load or connect. I can see again all my databases installed and uh, should be in a consistent state. So this was the backup and recovery of Windows Server using CPM and Microsoft VSS. I hope this will helpful. Thank you very much.